This is my final video for the Pulse Motor Project 2013. Well, the idea of this machine is to use a compressed magnetic field to cause induction on those solenoid coils. So, to do this, I used uh, two rotors and those rotors have magnets that are placed in a way that they, they are repelling each other between those rotors. So I have north against north and south against south. And, and the, those compressed magnet lines in those rotors are supposed to rush into the iron core of the solenoid coil and cause a strong induction. So this is the idea that I use it for this machine. And this is the circuit that I end up using in this project. Uh, it's based on the SSG, but I call this one the mirrored SSG. The main difference is that the SSG only works in attraction or repulsion mode, and this one can work in both modes. Uh, and here, the trigger coil, uh, when the magnet is approaching the coil, opens the transistor in the upper part and enables the coil to, to attract the magnet. And when the magnet is leaving the coil, it opens the transistor in the lower part, so the coil can repulse the magnet. Uh, and, well, both parts we can collect an energy spark and use it in a load. The motor is working now at 9 volts above 3 watts of energy. The LED is blinking, the RPM is constant, so let's increase the voltage to 12 volts. volts is consuming 6 watts of energy. Let's increase to 15 volts. The 3 watts LED seems to be more brighter. RPM is still increasing. It's now using 10 watts of energy. Most of the energy is converted to mechanical energy. 